tough, difficult times. Um, this bill at least holds intact some of the things that we know what we need. I've always said all along, we need to take care of those who are most vulnerable, certainly our senior citizens and our children. It's important to keep calm pace in place. Um, it, it is important to make certain that we uh, maintain our education. Uh, this bill makes certain that we flat funded that going forward for the next two years. Uh, higher education, we, can, we cannot, regardless of how bad the times are, allow that uh, vital infrastructure to be lost. There's lots about the budget that I like. Um, I really commend the chairs of finance and appropriation in working on this budget, but I think they still have some work to do. We all have some work to do. Um, I have a problem with the estate tax surcharge because throughout the campaign I worked to try to reform the estate tax um, and some of the tax increases. So I think we, I think this is a good start, but I could vote for it in this form and I'm hoping that we can get together and come up with some more cuts and some more, um, maybe more palatable revenue enhancements to try to put something on the table that we can all live with. I feel it's disappointment. Uh, disappointment that in order to get out of the worst economic crisis that we are facing, um, the Democratic majority of the legislature thought it was the time to increase taxes by $2.25 billion, the largest tax increase in the history of Connecticut, at the very worst time to do that. The best medicine right now to get out of this recession is to provide and create jobs. And the very bill that was passed out of here, hopefully will be vetoed by the governor, is one that destroys jobs. And that is the exact opposite of 